and we will divide 13 and 2 tenths by 6 using the rectangular model. Because we're using a rectangular model, we can let the 6, the divisor, be the width. And we can let the 13 and 2 tenths be the length. Now, we can start by decomposing 13 using our place value knowledge. The 3 and 13 is in the 1's place. The 1 and 13 is in the 10's place. And the 2 is in the tenth place. We can decompose 13 10 plus 3. Now we're ready to begin. We can ask ourselves how many groups of 6 are in 10? And the answer is 1. There is one group of six in ten. I'll subtract that one group of six, and I have four ones remaining. Notice that I'm constantly using my place value terminology. I can then regroup the four ones with the three ones. Three ones plus four ones is seven ones. So then I ask myself, how many groups of six ones are in seven ones? And the answer again is one group of six. Now because we decompose the 13 into 10 plus 3, we must add 1 plus 1 because we had one group of 6 and 10 plus one group of 6 and 7. So we have 2 whole. Now we have one remaining, but we can regroup the one remaining into the tenths place. But it must be equivalent. It must have a denominator of 10 because we're in the tenths. So you ask yourself, what numerator can I put at the top that would be equivalent to 1? And that is 10. 10 tenths is equivalent to 1. So we're going to add the 10 tenths to the two tenths that we already have. Ten tenths plus two tenths equal 
12 tenths. And you ask yourself, how many groups of 6 tenths, because we're in a tenths place value, how many groups of 6 tenths do we have in 12 tenths? So if you had 12 tenths, How many groups of six tenths would you have? And you would have two groups of six tenths. 